the Secret History of Marvel Comics, we really get into Martin Goodman's publishing empire, especially the publications that he was doing before Marvel Comics originated in 1939. And that's so important because what you see Martin Goodman doing from a business perspective in those pulps and magazines prior to what we now know as Marvel Comics is the exact same business principles that he actually used at Marvel Comics whilst he was working with people like Jack Kirby and Steve Ditko over the next 20 some odd years. One of the more interesting things about Martin Goodman's business practices was the setting up of shell companies, a common business practice by all the publishers of the time, but Martin Goodman took it to an extreme putting up almost 71 different shell companies between 1933 and 1968. We're familiar with, in, with that in the comic book business, but those business practices started way back in 1933 when he started his very first company, Newsstand Publications. And I think one of the other fascinating things that we saw about Martin Goodman's business practices is his tendency, as we saw it in the comic books, especially in the 1950s, was to flood the market with product, chasing down any trend that he could find. And we we're used to that in the comics, but he actually originated that back in his pulp and magazine days in the 1930s. As soon as he started winding up production, any trend that he could find, he would chase that down and try to flood off his competitors off of the market.